Hello, on behalf of American Honda Motor Company, thank you for tuning in for today's presentation. My name is Greg Cooper. I'm a senior te technical specialist in the manufacturing information services area of Honda Anna Engine Plant. My presentation today will attempt to provide you a little background, cover my first steps into the enterprise wearable technology space, and hopefully provide you with some ideas on how to chart your own course. Consider this a beginner's guide as we're still discovering new use cases seemingly on a daily basis. As technology and environment matures, we're finding a need to accelerate the path to deployment in order to address today's ever-changing business environment challenges. You may find that your path to enterprise ready is often through uncharted waters as I have found. So to jump into Honda, here at Anna, we just started building a brand new Turbo V6 for our Acura Type S series. Being a car guy at heart, I was thrilled to join the Honda family. I was relatively familiar with our cars and a few motorcycles. However, I quickly learned that at heart, we're absolutely an engine company. From the smallest string trimmer engines all the way to the largest engines built for our Honda Jet Elite S, we're proud of the unparalleled variety of products we offer our customers. While Honda operations are worldwide, my area of work tends to focus on our North American production facilities. Initially, I was an IT production support contractor in 2010. I was hired into information systems as a Honda associate in 2013. The Anna engine plant is my home office. At one end of our facility, you'll find a foundry operation where camshafts, engine sleeves, and other steel components are cast and finished. At the other end of the aluminum die cast and machining operations is where blocks and heads are formed. Final assembly brings all those components together and the engines are completed in any one of our three assembly lines. These engines are then shipped to Honda automobile plants all over the world. The environment at Honda is unique, one that encourages associate contributions and offers freedom to innovate so we can ensure we deliver products, deliver value for our customers and our company. Before digging completely into today's talk, I'd like to spend a moment to share one more thing about Honda's culture. Understanding and appreciating the spot, the Japanese term for being Gimba is key. Gimba is commonly used here at Honda to illustrate where the actual work takes place. Whether on our Anna engine manufacturing plant floor or IT department office, a concerted effort is prioritized to ensure associate understanding always begins directly at Gimba. Going to the spot is an important thing in our world. When there's the need to solve a problem, it's often at Gimba where the solution is sought and the work starts on creating a plan. Gimba, along with the Honda core values of dreams, joy, challenging spirit, passion, respect, makes us an incredible environment in which to work. Our Honda philosophy fosters innovation and creative creativity in virtually all areas of our business. And it's important to our success as a company. So this begins our path to what I'll call Gimba Cam. And hopefully uh, this makes sense. Moving on to EWTS, my personal involvement with Enterprise Wearable started with a request from our engine assembly department based on the graphics shown. New model build events are occasionally hosted in Japan to allow manufacturing and assembly personnel to interact with engineers and developers prior to production on the assembly lines. During the event, a master builder would assemble an engine by hand and the attending team could evaluate the process, provide feedback, document process, for later integration into production. Having 20 or so associates attend a new model build was the ideal image for the event. However, this was deemed not practical. The request of IT was to help develop a secure technology-driven solution to get the desired level of participation while reducing travel if at all possible. A few notable items from the information you see on the screen. Utilize wearable camera was the potential solution given to us to ensure more eyes with less travel. That actual device, more on the head of the associate that's shown, uh, did not appear to be available in the US or, or perhaps even at all. Early challenges were numerous, included confidentiality, support, security concerns. And as you can see, one of the uh, requisite items was Skype for business at the time. <laughs> What you're seeing now is kind of a prettied up version of what we devised. 
uh, actually put it into play using our collaborative video tool for the new model build events. The solution was used to assist the department in accomplishing their goals to securely broadcast material from the plant floor to a secure training room back here at Anna. They wanted to reduce travel, the presence required on site in Japan, and increase the local plant-wide participation here. And while it appears to be simple in that little picture, uh, this is reality, far less elegant. What you see is the actual equipment that was used, including the wires, and this was taken just solely from the computer side of the story. Cumbersome at best, battery life of all the components was a constant struggle to keep up with. Cables, battery packs were worn uh, in a fanny pack. Audio presented numerous challenges. Hands-free only in the loosest sense of the word. Certainly not voice activated nor intuitive. The wearer was not entirely aware of what they were presenting and streaming, which caused errant jumps in the presentation of, of critical subject matter. Uh, Long comes Enterprise Wearable Technology Summit 2017. Um, during this period of time uh, in 2017, that tool that I just showed you was used. They got ROI out of it. The picture you see is the group that was actually able to use it. And each one of those folks constitutes a savings of probably six to $10,000 a piece in uh, non-travel. Um, again, while it presented all those challenges, you know, I went to work thinking about EWTS to get around the internal Wi-Fi of the camera, to get around the audio problems. There's a conference system in that room of problematic all the way around. Um, and not to mention, th this event in Japan takes place overnight. So support from IT was required throughout the night, which I was reminded uh, maybe not be a, might not be an ideal model for an IT-created solution. To state it simply, we needed a much less support-intensive solution. So uh, again, Enterprise Wearable Technology Summit, I stole their logo. Uh, in an effort to locate a better solution, I attended the event. It was in Boston. At this point, the selection of hardware on the exhibit floor offered some amount of improvement over our current system. However, none were what I thought was industrial enough. And my insistence on using uh, Skype was a limiting factor as well. The speakers, though, were excellent. I really should have listened a lot closer to the folks on stage. They were all telling cautionary tales at that point of seeking and being sure to speak executive support, network compatibility, compliance. Uh, I pretty much blew all that off. Um, these couple of pictures were actually taken from that event. Kind of makes me wonder what we did before cell phones came along. It's kind of a eureka moment, maybe not the eureka moment, but uh, a moment nonetheless. Someone named James Gordy from a company named Realware popped in my table during a break and proceeded to show me this thing called an HMT-1. I think he dropped it from about three foot high on the table, and I don't know if that was to wake me up, get my attention, or to emphasize the ruggedness. Either way, it worked. So I had a rolling decision analysis going on in my head. The HMT-1 appeared to check all the boxes. And as you might expect, I left EWTS 2017 convinced that within weeks, I could stand up a shiny new Gimbit Cam 2.0 and be a hero. Again, this was October 2017. Um, yeah, four years ago, and I'm still rolling. Um, so, it took four years to advance this general concept and not at all because it wasn't deemed a great idea. Information Systems at Honda has an excellent opportunity to showcase fundamental structural improvements. And this concept was deemed one of the several themes that should be presented in 2018. Ultimately, Gimmicam theme was recognized by the IT department. And as its top theme, the trophy was provided. Uh, pretty little guy, huh? I'd like to take a moment to reiterate some of the things I heard when I wasn't actually listening at EWTS. I didn't heed the warnings, and I might have saved some missing hair. I followed these uh, few steps. Uh, first one, there we go. Don't go it alone. Uh, I did start my first year down this path solo, trying to virtually shadow IT my way in. Start 
at the work spot? Where is the problem that you're actually trying to address? Uh, you spend enough time out there, you're going to come back with a business sponsor, somebody that's uh, maybe not perhaps on the technical end, but they know what their downtime is. They know what their struggles are, what's eating their lunch, makes a much better use case. Um, I can say this with absolute certainty, engage with IT. Um, and if you're in IT, engage with IT. I, I'm local and of course, North American and global IT come into play on certain enterprises. Um, get security approval first. Don't even bother with anything else until you're absolutely sure that the environment, security, safety, are all involved and they've signed off on it. It will come up later if you take the long road as I did. And of course, confidentiality is gonna be your next challenge to make sure they understand it is this camera in a manufacturing environment and items like new model can be a, a, a real challenge. So uh, I've done all of that in reverse. So perhaps you can save some time. Things that evolved as I did spend more time at Gimba, uh, mostly because of my role in manufacturing IT support. I had great work in relationships with those guys. Made a habit of asking how this device might be used to benefit their particular needs. These areas of interest were key in establishing very small scale proof of concepts throughout several of the Ohio manufacturing facilities. At this point, I was using various trial applications and again, fulfilling my role in information systems, but jumping into innovation with both feet. Gradually, word of mouth created more opportunities for more demonstrations, such as assisted robot inspections. However, it remained somewhat of a struggle to establish momentum. I caught a bit of a break as our mobile computer scanner vendor announced an end of life for their products that used Windows CE and their pending transition to Android. AirWatch is our present mobile device management system and we introduced HMT1 as, quote, just another Android device that could possibly be managed in the same manner as the scanners. And they're coming along anyways. Uh, that kind of worked. And I finally sent a device off live to security for them to evaluate. So at this point we're in 2020 and along comes Corona. Uh, despite the circumstances, we all had to deal with COVID protocols and it was really a game changer for the wearable project. Like so many others, we're looking for a means to ensure business continuity and provide a safe environment for our associates. Quarantines, work from home, social distancing, all highlighted the functionality we needed and we were in, evolving into in that moment. However, due to an environment and the need for solutions to the challenges we we're grappling with, the audience for our project suddenly got a lot bigger. Almost on cue, Microsoft released Teams for HMT1. Realware moved to a new version of firmware. Android became possibility for extended use on our global network. And Fusion Remote made easy work connecting a dealer or service center to our internal staff. We were fortunate that we had the technology and partners available to quickly get units where they needed to be. Uh, issues such as travel restrictions, quarantines, large numbers of experts working from home were all partially mitigated by the presence of a remote support tool. Our journey continues as the world around us evolves into a new reality. We're developing new guidelines for our departments to procure and use GimbaCam in many previously uncharted areas of business. Awareness of the availability of the technology is key. If you're interested in doing something similar, I would recommend you recreate some of your own technology evangelists along the way. At this point, I truly believe we're going to see increased demand as we look beyond the pandemic. I, I stole this screen from EWTS, I think. Um, you might have noticed that the path isn't always straight and narrow. No pun intended, but I'm truly grateful that the Honda leadership strongly supports experimentation and the lanes to success are wide enough to allow a bit of weaving in and out of traffic. Few closing thoughts here. I am fortunate that Honda is a company that encourages innovation and embraces a challenging spirit. Despite operating in a time of unprecedented challenges, you may find hidden opportunities to significantly and positively impact your workplace. Keep your eye on Gimba. And while 
recognizing there are plenty of risk inherent to the introduction of new software and devices, patients and the right team can help clear hurdles to adoption. Work to understand what you can do to enable others. With a growing number of remote workers, why not use your device while you're hosting your own meetings? Talk to your vendors. Odds are they've seen what you're facing and have a solution already queued up. You may find that you need to wear a new hat. Keep in mind, there's not always going to be a name on the org chart that has your specific direction on their map. Be positive, always. There are exciting opportunities in a workplace where you can improve the lives of others. I can recall one of my very first interactions with one of my very first corporate employers. The conversation turned into the owner's path to success and his comments drive much of my own personal work ethic here 40 years later. The quote is, be sure to leave each task, each role, each job better than you found it. It's quite a challenge, but as we're all here to learn and understand the rules of enterprise wearables, I believe we're all on the same road to improving our own workplaces. And with that, I'd like to thank you and open the floor up to questions and answers. Thank you.